Hello, this is Ira Whiteside, and I'm going to take you through a quick presentation of our AHA data importer. It's the uh, tool that we're going to use to uh, generate SSIS packages for importing uh, staging tables. Uh, if we take a quick look and we open up the importer, it's a small desktop app with a very basic interface. The idea here is that if you have, in this case, Comet Limited Files, we have a small sample here, claim sample dot text. We can uh, select a few options. We can tell uh, the tool here that we've got a header row present. We're Comet Limited. We've got a text qualifier. We can put this on our server. Uh, in this case, my local server. We can name the database, import database, and we can name the table and we'll name that table demo 3. Uh, we can tell this uh, tool to put the package to create a package in this case called load claim staging DTSX in users error documents. We can then hit import. Uh, we'll read the metadata, uh, do the text qualification and generate the appropriate SSAS package. In this case we'll actually run it. If we check Visual Studio real quick or I'm sorry, SQL Management Studio, and we list the tables that have been loaded into the import database. We'll see indeed that we have loaded our AHA claims 2013 data. Let's open that up. We'll take a quick look. We'll select the rows. You can see here we've loaded the rows and loaded the tables. We check back again. You can see the name of our table is AHA claims 20. 113, little typo in the area, that is indeed the name of the table. Now, to take it a step further, if we come and take a look at Visual Studio, we have a project open here, so we're going to go out and say let's uh, import a uh, an item that's already been built. In this case, we're going to import the package here that we've just generated. That per particular package is uh, sitting out here in documents. If we page down, or actually, if we simply change our mode to detailed here and take a look, do a little navigation. Sorry about that. We can see that our load claim staging table is available here as a DTS package. If we open that package, bring that into a solution, and then open the package to see that the code that was generated, we can see here exactly what we've done. We've got a small little uh, SSIS package here. We're at the control flow level. We have an execute SQL task and a data flow task. Let's take a look at the SQL. It's going to set up some best practices. What we've done here is we have uh, generated a create statement for our table. Rather lengthy table at this point for claims. And then in addition, if we take a look at our basic SSIS package, we've defined a connection manager here, which will define our connection to our flat file source via the metadata. Do a little preview. We can see that we're showing here a few rows and what's going on. We can then take a look at our destination. In this case, very straightforward. Uh, we're creating a staging table with the same columns and format as our input table. The mappings that you can see that exist here have been mapped based on existing column name. And indeed, the package, if we do choose to run it again, is. Uh, executable and maintainable outside of the importer and within uh, the normal Visual Studio environment. <coughs> and just a quick look at the control flow level. In this case the package is not running because obviously we've already created the table. Uh, and uh, just to give you an idea of the flexibility we could disable this task if you will. Run the package again in a maintenance mode and we can see that the package actually did execute and we did load our same two rows. Uh, so that's it for now. Just a quick demo of uh, what our current capabilities are. Still quite a bit of work to do. 
some of the things we're tackling in terms of the tool, back to the tool interface, is we're currently tackling handling uh, complex COBOL interfaces. Uh, and we'll also be handling some rules and an additional screen here to handle some mappings where we will be changing the target table and uh, providing custom mappings for new tables. And then lastly, we'll be doing some basic cleansing and column reformatting uh, via uh, a small screen in the SSIS derived columns. Thank you.